happening today, you'll get new information on the next steps in fighting COVID. FDA advisors will meet to talk about the next phase for vaccines. This comes one week after the FDA and CDC both signed off on a second booster for people ages 50 and up. 11 Lives Karis Belger is in studio this morning. Karis, talk us through what to expect from today's meeting and how it could impact everybody. Yeah, good morning. So there are a few things the FDA advisory committee is going to look at when they meet today. The first is how well the current vaccines are holding up against current variants and also new variants. And the second is what kind of adjustments need to be made to the vaccine to make sure it remains effective as the virus evolves. A brief from the FDA says changes may need to be made to the composition of the vaccine to make sure it stays effective. And that same memo says scientists are still trying to understand all the variables. So right now, Pfizer and Moderna are running trials based on the Omicron variant, which is currently the dominant strand of the COVID virus. And medical experts at Georgia Tech tell us the main thing to look for in the data is that is how whether uh, how vaccines are going to be working against that constantly evolving virus. And so the questions will be going forward. Do we institute a, uh, a process of annual or periodic vaccinations? where the vaccines are changed slightly to meet the challenge of the evolving virus. This is what happens with the annual flu vaccine. And that same expert also said it's important to understand the vaccine will continue, the virus rather, will continue to be a concern for certain groups like the elderly individuals and people who are immunocompromised, which is another reason why the FDA is going to look closely at the information they have today. All right, Karis, thank you.